morning you guys and welcome back to my channel so I've been gone for a while since January and I'm currently filming this in April but I have a reason because my MacBook ran out of storage and I need an external drive okay so I want to do a voiceover right here and fast forward this because I'm just talking way too much but basically I'm saying I need an external drive for my computer and then I wanted to find a cheap one and then my SD card input broke so I had to find one of those and I was saying how it was supposed to storm that day and we was under a tornado warning and I was telling you guys how I filmed I've been filming since January because I've been gone since January but I don't know if I want to put those videos up because they old and one of them was a uh, putting up the christmas tree video and i don't think nobody wants to see that in april so <laughs> one of my goals this year is not to talk so much on these videos because this intro alone was nine minutes long and i didn't want to do that to you guys so that's what i was saying in this clip and let's get back into the video okay so it is 7 42 and i am hungry athena just told me she's hungry i usually don't eat this early because i'm usually not hungry but and I don't really like breakfast food. So I'm going to make some grits. Lately, I've been obsessed over grits. I have been craving grits so bad. So we went and bought grits. We got these cheese grits and regular grits. And I usually mix them. Well, not I. My husband usually make them because I'm horrible at making grits. And the reason why we got these packs is because they was the only ones that did not have a lot of carbs in it. And by my husband being a diabetic, he can't eat stuff with a lot of carbs. So we had got those instead. So now I'm about to make some grits. I'm pretty sure Athena's going to want some also. Hopefully I don't make these wrong. And we usually eat it with like bacon or sausage in it. And I don't have any more bacon or sausage. So I don't know if it's going to taste as good. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys <clears throat> what I was talking about. This. This is what I was talking about. Don't know if you can see what it says, but it says pork shoulder blade steak. And I only paid $9.04 for this. And I looked at it. They do have it at Walmart, but for Walmart, it's like $20 for one pack. So big savings. But now I'm out to defrost this. And a safe way to defrost your meat is to put it in a water in a water put it submerge it in cold water because if you submerge it in hot water and then bacteria can get in it and you get sick all that so submerge it in cold water so it can easily defrost it and no and it don't change the temperature of the meat so i see this baby pacifier show them your baby pacifier It's so small. This is a newborn passy. No, and you don't need it. No. You need it? No. So why are you using it? Yo, she is so stubborn. This is going to be the hardest thing to get rid of. And I want to get rid of this before we potty train her. But depending on how this week go, because we started it Friday, I will determine that. Because if she don't get rid of it by this week, I'm just going to pop the trainer. So I muted this scene or this clip because my daughter was crying and you could barely hear me. But I was pretty much asking, what do you guys put in y'all grits? We put butter and sugar. I was saying I use cane sugar and my husband used Splenda. And then I was telling you guys how I was trying to get sugar out of my diet, period. Because if you guys didn't know, sugar causes inflammation in your body. Alright you guys, so it's 11.08 and it's about time for Athena to take a nap. You can't tell how dark it is in here, but it's really dark because it's supposed to storm today. And right now, I am cur currently making me some tea. I am drinking this lavender chamomile plus, pro pro plus probiotics by Bigelow. I love Bigelow teas. I don't put nothing in it 
I like the way it tastes by itself. I am also currently texting my husband because if you don't know, I make body butters. And the reason why I started it is because my daughter had really bad eczema when she was born. And nothing was working. So I looked up natural remedies and I came up with this eczema body butter that got a rid of her eczema. And until today, she don't have it. Like she'll have like little spots pop up once in a while. But it's not as bad as it was. So I sold my eczema cream to like people that had eczema and I called it eczema beauty. And then I had got into just body butters, period. How it's a lot better for your skin than lotion. So I started a business last year called Goddess DNA. Where I would make body butters and body oils and a face wash. And I sold out of everything. And I stopped making it because my mixer, my hand mixer broke. So that's why my husband bought me my lovely kitchen aid <laughs> for Christmas. And I still didn't use it. And then I ended up getting the handheld kitchen aid also. And I still didn't use it until a few days ago because a lot of people kept to asking me when I'm going to restock. They wanted some more of the Mango Dream. Mango Dream and my Eczema Beauty is my two top uh, sellers. And people was asking me when I'm going to make it, when I'm going to make it. They need more. They ran out. So I was like, okay, I'll make it. My website is not up. It's still on pause because I don't like the way it looks. I want to get it professionally done. So right now I'm just doing like cash app with people that want it. And I came up with a new body butter. It's a man scent. And I call it Cedar Springs. And it smells like cedar. It smells really good. So... I was just texting my husband telling him how much I got available for the Cedar Springs and the Mango Dream Butter. I need to make the eczema cream today. I'm not going to have a lot of those because I kind of ran out of some of the products that I use for it. And then I'm going to make a different body butter sometime this week. It's a different scent and I love the smell of it. The scent is called Monkey Farts, <laughs> but I'm not going to name it that, but it smells so good. And then I got another scent, and it smells just like baby powder. It's a fresh scent. So I feel like that would be, like, really good for people that freshly get out the shower and might go late, go to sleep or something like that. But, yeah. But I am currently watching The uh, Ultimatum on Netflix. Really good show. It's about couples that, um, one person out, the cu one person out of the couple gave the other person an ultimatum. Uh, pretty much either you marry me or I'm done pretty much thing so what it is is that they all they end up dating other people from other couples on the show on Netflix and it's a really good show um I feel like some couples do need that like because the grass isn't always greener on the other side but sometimes it is like you you learn that you've been using that relationship so if you haven't watched it check it out uh uh baby get on my salad <laughs> y'all so I made this bomb salad so if you don't know I'm saying a lot of you don't know because y'all don't know because a lot happened I am going to school to be a integrative nutritionist or holistic nutritionist or health coach and uh, I started a new face Instagram page for it and it's called goddess lifestyle group and I will have that link below if you want to follow me but I had made this salad that's like really good for gut health and digestion and just healing your lining of your stomach and fiber and all that stuff. Good for inflammation. It have kale, Brussels sprouts, red cabbage, or some people like calling it purple cabbage. Um, carrots. I made some pickled red onions thanks to my girl and I was uh, every day in this. this Every day in the set. I hope I'm saying it right. I will link her channel below. Um, and I put cranberries and sunflower seeds in there. Sometimes I put pecans. Sometimes I put walnuts. And I've been using this salad dressing. Not the best salad dressing, but it tastes really good. Asian sesame by Panera Bread. And this little girl over here just eating all my sunflower seeds out of my salad. Is it good? 
Yeah. But alright, I'm gonna finish watching this and put her to sleep for her nap and I will catch you guys later. The next day. Alright, I just wanna say we just went to Duncan. Ron ordered it off the app like he always do. And when we got there, the lady was like confused. It's like for Marquia. She wasn't looking to see what all we ordered. Every time she came to the window to give us something, we was like, we also ordered this. We also ordered that. We also ordered this. And then she gave us the hummus toast. And Ryan was mad because he was like, it's supposed to be tomatoes on there. So he checked his order to make sure he said tomatoes on there. And then she, he was like, there's no tomatoes on the hummus toast. She said, oh, we don't have none. So you wasn't gonna tell us that y'all didn't have tomatoes? Like, ain't you supposed to say, hey, I seen you ordered the hummus toast with the tomatoes on, but we don't have the tomatoes. Do you still want the toast? Starbucks, whenever. Right, babe? Don't put me in this. He was already saying it, Starbucks, whenever. He don't want to say it on camera, though. Nope, nope, y'all catch me. I'm a Duncan, <laughs> I'm a Duncan loyalist, okay? I'm like, can't you need more with the restoration? He was just saying Starbucks would never. <laughs> Cause Starbucks would never. <laughs> All right, we about to go to the commissary. Bye. Okay, you guys, so <clears throat> we are at our next step. Step. We are at our next stop. I don't know if you guys can see me cause it's pretty bright outside. So we are at our next stop. Ron had to come to the VA clinic to get some blood work done. We had just left the commissary. It is currently 9.06. I'm trying to get everything done because I hope the camera is shaking. If it is, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get everything done because we are under a level 4 threat of storms today which is horrible which means we get tornadoes we get hail and all that stuff so i don't want to be out when that's happening granted um i don't know if i'm taking around to work i don't know but he don't get off until later on today so we might be out anyways picking him up but that's not too far from the house but let me show you guys. I don't know if I can put the clip up on the screen or I'm probably just gonna have to show you guys on my phone because it's not my video and I don't know how to download it. But the storm that's coming our way is the storm that just hit Texas. And y'all, I ain't got time for it. I am so over these tornadoes. And the thing is, if I move, I wanna move to either Atlanta or Houston and it's like they both get tornadoes Houston get as much as tornado tornadoes as t uh, Tennessee does, but um, yeah, let me see if I can find it here. in where is Salado, Texas? Saldo? Salado, Texas? <laughs> Probably pronouncing it wrong, so I would just put the name on the screen. But this just hit them 10 hours ago. And look how big this hill is, y'all. That is huge. And I'm really not trying to deal with that. Now here go another picture. That tornado though, like I just pray that everybody was safe last night when that hit. They said they was playing a softball game and they had to stop the softball game. Y'all, y'all gotta be careful out there when it's these tornadoes because, cause see like we're in the 
I'm not gonna tell y'all where we're at because I don't want nobody to know exactly where I live. But this is Tennessee. I could probably put a picture of that on the screen. But, um, yeah, so. The other day, it started hailing out of nowhere. Let me see if I can find a video. The reason why I'm showing y'all the videos on my phone is because I don't quite know how to take the stuff off my phone and put it on my MacBook. I gotta figure out how to do that. But I took this the other day. We was just sitting in the living room. It is hailing out here. It just started hailing. New text message. It just started hailing outside for no reason. This was April 8th. And today is the 13th. So this happened last week. I don't know why people want to move here because it's boring and our weather is unpredictable here and I know y'all probably like weather is unpredictable everywhere but granted if you live in like California you know you're gonna get mainly sunshine and sun you know what I mean you move here in Tennessee in the same week Monday you might have it might be 90 degrees and then Tuesday is raining and cloudy and then Wednesday, it's a tornado. And then Thursday, it's snowing. And then Friday, it's icing. And I ain't exaggerating. I'm in dead serious. That doesn't happen so many times here in Tennessee. We had all the seasons in one week. And it's irritating. Like, you don't know. You can't, don't put your winter clothes up. You know how you was able to pick up when uh, spring. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Come, you can put that win those winter clothes up. You can't do that here. Keep those winter clothes in the closet, the summer clothes in the closet, the spring and the fall clothes in the closet because you gonna go through the emotions in Tennessee when it comes to the weather. Like, go Athena, y'all. Athena. What you watching? Your iPad? Yeah. Say bye-bye. Y'all see that baby pass in her mouth, y'all? This is so hard getting rid of this password. But I will catch you guys later. Bye! All right, y'all, so we are back home. And I told y'all I would do y'all do a haul for you of everything we got from a commissary. Now, Ryan did already start putting some stuff up. So sorry, but uh, I can show you the stuff he put up if I can remember what all we got. So starting on this end. I got some more organic kale for our salad. Some Napa cabbage. This is what they use at the Korean barbecue places for the lettuce wrap, so I got that. Got Athena some more strawberries, or what she like to call it, yaka berries. <laughs> Ryan had got some of his sugar-free honey. I had got some organic raw honey. Got some more apple cider vinegar. We got this Korean barbecue sauce and marinade. It's keto, paleo, and the ingredients is really clean in this, so. And it's not a lot of sugar. I've been obsessed over these drinks. The Kavita or Kavita sparkling probiotic drinks, lemon ginger is so good. If you are trying to get over sodas, Go get these sparkling probiotic drinks. So good. We got some more Panera Bread, Fiji Apple, salad dressing, and Asian sesame. These two is so good. Oh, thank you, baby. It's okay. Mommy wasn't using it anyways. Just stick that uh, Starbucks gave us. And I had got some... Okay, hold on. Mommy will give you some. I got some sun-dried tomatoes. This is, uh, they cut in half. These are so good. Now, when you use them, you do need to plot dry them with the paper towels because it's really oily, but so good. Got some more tea, orange and spice herbal tea, and 
mint melody tea. Water berries. What are they called? No. What are these? Water berries. Mm -hmm. Mommy, give you some in a minute, okay? What's this, Athena? Athena. You want Daddy get you some? What's this? What's, what's this? No, that's gonna fall. No. Excuse Athena crying in the background. She's trying to eat chocolate instead of eating food. Mommy. But we got some dishwasher tabs. I got this pen because I had got some brownies. And it said it needed a 12 by 9. Wait. Oh, it said it needed a 13 by 9 pen. So I got this. We got some... Baby corn. No. <laughs> Water chestnut slice. And then over here, I had got some more of this. The Naked Green Machine. I know it's healthier just to make your own, but you know, I haven't been feeling like it, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I got a red onion to make some more pickled red onions because I'm almost out. I got some green onions for my salad. I got some avocados for avocado toast. Excuse the mess, y'all. It's like no space on this counter. Now this is this is what she's trying to get. This Apple Jack chocolate bunny bar. But she needs to eat some food, y'all. So let's see. Oh. I got some more lemons. I had got this uh roast and these. I forgot what these called. They're not pork chops, but I got this. I got this for Athena, trying to find some stuff that she would eat. These uh, sliders. She liked burgers, so we got that. Uh, I also got her these. This reduced sugar, peanut butter, and strawberry sandwiches. Hopefully she'll eat that. And so hopefully she should eat those. She's kind of mad right now because she's obsessed over chocolate, but I have to limit her. I feel like I'm missing something because I have bought brownies. And I have bought some cranberries. Oh, there go. Here go the cranberries. Oh, Ron put the brownies up. That's why. We got these. Ryan really wanted these cookie brownies. I didn't want the cookie brownies, but got that one for him. And I got some chewy fudge brownies. I've been craving brownies lately. And then Ryan had got a whole bunch of these different flavored tuna packages. And that's all we had got. I believe from the store. She's still mad. Show you guys her Easter basket. I had to put it up because she would want to eat it. Eat everything in there. Shut the door. Alright, here go her Easter basket. Walmart have the same old Easter baskets every year. And they're not cute, so it made me mad. Don't mind the clean clothes. So I got this for her. It's a little bunny. You can squeeze it, and it glows in the dark. It lights up. It's not doing it right now, but it lights up. Uh, we got her some sunglasses, because she's obsessed over sunglasses. Got her this little light projector thing. It projects these pictures on the wall, because she like when we do the flashlight. Got her this little 
Nutella thing because she like dipping crackers in it. I don't like Nutella, but hey, she like it. Got her this chocolate bar. Um, got her these eight decoration things. We're gonna decorate some eggs, some uh, baby shark bubbles. And there's another a bubble machine down there. And there's another egg down there. There's some more stuff down there, but I don't want to go through it all right now. So when she opened her basket Saturday, I will show you guys. Um, but that's pretty much it. We're gonna go east egg hunting Saturday at my mom's house. Would we'll take her other places, but I really don't feel like it. because this box says 13 by 9 inch pan so that's what I did I bought a 13 by 9 inch pan but look at this what is this this is not gonna fit and it's gonna have the nerve and say thick and fudgy no it's not about to be thick it ain't even gonna be slim thick this thing about to be tiny whiny like, so now I gotta open the other box. Even if I spread it out, it's not gonna work. So now I'm about to open up the other box and make the other one. When I didn't even want this one, because it got fine. cookies in it, and I didn't want cookies. Oh no, mm mm, I ain't making this. You gotta make a cookie mix. You gotta make the cookie dough and the brownie batter. So it's two different things. What? Mm mm. Yeah, no, I ain't making this. We just about to have some thin brownies. Because this is too many steps. I ain't got time for it. You gotta make the chop. You gotta make the cookie separate from the brownie. And, how did you... and I thought Stop it was stuff. just like a mixture of the cookies in Me there. Me too. So you gotta put the, brownie, the cookies on top? I don't know. Dark softened butter. Drop cookie dough. Hold on, baby. Uh, Hold on. Get her. She's trying to get down. You gotta drop it. So I'll let you guys know how this looks when it comes out the oven. So I'll catch you guys later. Okay. So update. I took it out of this long 13 by 9 pan and put it in my glass pan. This is... Uh, what is it? 8 by 8. Because I like my brownies thick. I don't like them thin. I like them thick. So, I'm about to put this in the oven, and I think it is going to take 34 minutes. So, let's do that right now. Hi, baby. Step back, okay? I'm about to open the oven. Okay. Look how smart she is, y'all. She know when this oven open, she stepped back to the dough. Put this light on. So, i to put this. In the middle of the rack. And hey Google, set a timer for 34 minutes. 34 minutes.